Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for whoever needs it. I got a message for you from someone. Let's see who this person is and what they want to say to you. Before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages. That resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out who is it and what they want to say to you. <clears throat> let's begin. This person is somebody who's very unique and somebody who's very different than how your past people have been. This person could be an ex that you still remember. This can be a new person who's walking into your life. Um, this person has... Um, This person has yet to bring a lot of change in your life and I feel like you know they are going to change your perspectives as well. So this could be a new person, it can be a return of an ex as well, but this person really wants you to know that um, it's time for me and you to have a new beginning in life. So it can be a past person or a new person too. But whoever this person is, this person is going to take you forward in love. This person is going to be somebody who's going to make you see the life, the love life from a fresher perspective. Let's see some more cards to see who is this person and what they want to say to you. Let's see. It, it is going to be somebody who is very sensitive, somebody who is emotional, somebody who is expressive. And um, probably they, they, they have always been having some sort of issues when it comes to self-love and um, um, somebody who has been taken for granted. Uh, this person is going to be lonely. So for those of you who are in the same situation, probably that's why you're going to cl click with this person because you're going to feel like there's a lot of common between the two of us. And that's how you're going to start talking to each other. Probably you're going to meet a person at a party and a person who's sitting at the corner and you you don't know like you know uh, what's going on with them. Probably you are doing the same and that's how you're going to catch the attention of each other. So it can be a new person as well for some of you. I feel like you know, whoever this person is, um, this person has been a loner for majority of you. I feel like you know, this person has been somebody who's, uh, um, you know, uh, who has been living a single life for quite some time. And probably it's the same for you. Probably it's an ex coming back to you who has been staying away from relationships, just like probably you have been staying away from relationships too. So it's going to be some, something like that uh, developing. This person could have light hair, could be bald as well. This person is going to be athletic, tall, arrogant rich and successful so for majority of you i feel like you know there is an introvert energy coming in here uh be that from your side or be that from your person's side i feel like you know it's going to be your person's energy i feel like you know this person has been somebody who's uh finding it very hard to be socializing and i feel like you know they they, they really don't know how to do that um they can be somebody who's very arrogant as well or probably that's how they give the vibe of being one but uh, maybe they deep down they are not it's just that the way they look, the way they uh, portray themselves uh, to others, it's something that uh, that is very unapproachable or something. And probably people don't try their luck with them because they feel that they are somebody maybe out of their league or something. But this person can also be somebody who is um, rich and famous as well. So whoever this person is, what I do see here is this person is going to be bringing a lot of positive change in your life. They're going to help you. Um, for some of you, or maybe for those of you who are completely single, this person is going to walk into your life and that's how you're going to have a new journey started together. Um, probably you are on the journey of yourself where, where uh, you are ready to explore more of yourself about yourself and the, you know, probably because of the broken heart that you have because of the past that you really, past relationship that you're probably leaving behind. But I feel like, you know, as you are on your individual journey, probably this person is going to join you in that individual journey of yours. So it can be a new person as well. But even if it's a past person, it, there has been a lot of gap between the two of you, as in like, you know, the last you talk to each other. And that's when this person is going to come back to you. It's not going to be for people who are dealing with a current person and you recently stopped talking to each other. It's not that person. And in that situation, probably it's going to be a new person. For the singles out there, for the people, people who have been staying um you know single for quite some time or be um, you know be that maybe you are waiting for a past person to return back to you but when i say the past person it's not somebody that you recently left so i feel like there's a lot of uh, 
uh, you know, maturity in this, uh, you know, person's attitude is also there. I feel like, you know, which is also could be the reason why they, they you know, the people around them find it very hard to approach them because they seem kind of mature uh, to, to, you know, to uh, probably they are aged as well. Like, you know, um, it can be somebody who's older than you as well. But whoever this person is, I feel like, you know, they, they really are, uh, have new opportunities, uh, you know, coming uh, towards you with them because I really feel like you know, this person is going to help you to move forward in life. So I really see this uh, uh, person walking into your life. Let's see what is the message from this person. What is it that they want to say to you? Let's see. <clears throat> Be that a new person or a boss person? <sighs> you have been in my dreams lately. So there has been somebody in your life who has been dreaming about you. Like, you know, they probably have been seeing you in their dreams. Probably you are missing them too and they are missing you too if it's a boss person. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. So somebody is really sorry and they want to reach out to you as well with the last card. I want to reach out but I'm scared. So it can be a boss person who has been thinking a lot about you and they really want to talk to you. They really want to communicate to you. But at the same time, I feel like they are very scared of doing so because... Uh, they don't know if you're going to give them a chance or not. They are scared what if you treat them the way they treated you probably. So let's see what else do they want you to know. My mind and heart always brings me back to you. So for majority of you, probably it's a past person who is like willing to get back with you. Uh, no matter how hard they try to stay away from you, their heart always brings them back to you. I got scared of commitment, so I left. So in the past, they probably left you or the connection ended between the two of you because they were scared of commitments. They were scared of being in a relationship which is like, you know, leading towards marriage or something like that. I feel like, you know, now when they are going to come into your life, um... I feel like you know everything is going to be changed everything is going to be evolved probably you yourself have evolved too so um this person would want to have a future with you this person would want to have a stable connection with you so um let's see uh what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation how the divine really want you to deal with the current situation that you're going to be having with this person let's see you deserve way better than this so the divine really wants you to know that you need to know what you are worthy of and probably you deserve more than what they have to offer so just know what is right and what is wrong for you especially if a past person returns back to you and uh, you know they act kind of probably they are the one who's who wants to get back in your life probably you need to know what are your boundaries and what you want to give in receive divine messages through dreams probably you are uh, having some dreams around your love life lately try to pick some signs and messages from those uh, uh, dreams um earth signs for some of you could be dealing with an earth sign or you yourself could be an earth sign as well let's see more <clears throat> you are divinely guided so again i feel like you know uh listen to the divine i feel like you know the divine has been trying to communicate to you uh lately so be open to receive those signs and messages coming from the divine let's see some more oracle guidance here let's see what else do we have what else the oracle guidance for you in your love life situation that you can earn be going to be having with this person <clears throat> Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, the divine really wants you to move past something uh, from the past. It's time for you to forgive and forget and move ahead in your life. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, probably this new person is going to help you move ahead with your life. But maybe as this person enters in your life, maybe a past person would also return back to you asking for forgiveness, asking for a commitment. Um being ready for for having a relationship that you once desired with them but i feel like you know for majority of you probably you're going to release the person from the past and move forward with the new one um because i feel like and it's very important for you to heal from the past and probably you are waiting for that you know justice to come your way from from a past person so you could move ahead in your life by knowing that you have always been worthy of love just that your person could not understand that and that's why your love life could not move ahead so it can be just that kind of a situation developing for some of you as well but um yeah this is what they have to say this is what the divine has to add to the read for you as well so uh pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my malady in the description box you can also uh, check out other services that I offer as well in the description box so yeah till i do the next read for you guys take care and bye